Okay, so like many of you, sometimes I can't be bothered to cook. Sometimes I can't even be bothered to order a takeaway. So I go out to my local pub, Weatherspoons or something, and have some food. Because, well, let's be honest, usually it's because I've set fire to the toaster, the grill, or something else, and half the house is burnt down. Actually, a true story. But today's box is all about pub food. Hello, how you doing? I'm Joe Warlock. And here is today's box. It is pub supper. Yes, another box for our ever-glowing, glowing, ever-growing ever collection of food boxes. Now, I don't know what to expect from this box. I'll leave all the details down below, but pub, pub supper? What What kind of pub food is in here? Oh, pork scratchings and bag of crisps? What What else is there? I don't know, but it's, it's going to be interesting. We're going to try it. Hopefully, it's not going to kill me. Right, let's cut this open. And uh, I don't know, some pub food's quite nice. Some of it, not so much. I'm just, I don't know, I can't, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to expect. There's quite a few in here. Oh, oh God. So the first item is the oh, snaffling pig. Awesome flavored pork crackling. Let's make the pig in magic happen. Hot to trot. Here's a fun fact, I eat chicken, I sometimes eat steak, and I also eat salmon. I don't eat any other meats, I don't eat pork, I don't eat lamb, I don't eat anything else. So, this is going to go well. Why? Why? I'm just, if you're a fan of pub food, you might like it. Well, there's a thing, I don't even, why? Mmm, <laughs> mm. tastes just like stuff. I don't know what to put in my mouth again. Ugh. Um, it is—it's got quite a hot flavour to it. That's not something I ever want to eat again. Ugh. Can we move on? The next item. <laughs> the next item is the snuffling pig. Pork crackling. Oh, I already did not enjoy that. Marvelous maple. Great. This is this is going to be a wonderful get up box. Here we go. Why is this even a thing? I can still taste the last stuff. Oh, let's get a proper bite, I guess. Oh, it's just it looks horrible. I don't. Why? I don't eat pork. This is. Oh, that was a smell. That is definitely a smell. I know some people love this stuff in pubs, but I, I am not one of them. I can still taste the last lot. Oh. <coughs> okay, here goes. Because <laughs> what I wanted was to chew on the scratchings of pig. Ah. <sighs> Next item. I'm not even spending time on that. That is horrible, and I know people love it. <laughs> I'm gonna have a breakdown. Mr. Tubbs Pork Crackling. I know some people love these pork scratchings. I used to go to the pub with a guy who'd buy loads of these and eat them. And he's like, John, so I was like, oh, I'll try it. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Unleash the hog, hand double cooked premium pork crackling with the finest ingredients and seasoning. Funny, doesn't tell you what the ingredients are. Oh, pork rind and salt. Okay, salt and vinegar flavour. Why are you flavouring them? Oh. That doesn't smell like salt and vinegar. It smells like the fate aroma of death. Oh my god. Are you a fan of pork scratchings? You may love this box. Oh. Why is this a thing? Not eating pork is one thing. Pork scratchings are the next level. If this is just a box of pork scratchings, I'm gonna lose my mind. Next is something. Oh, oh, this I can cope with. Oven roasted peanuts, California honey and salt. This I'll live with. Fat, 17%. Wow, that's a lot of fat. Seven point. 7% salt, 8% sugars, pretty bad for you. Oven roasted peanuts. Peanuts, sounds good. So, uh, 
Let's try and work out how to get it in the package. Which is always a problem. How do we? Aha! Oh, they smell so nice. Yep, it's it's peanuts. Let's uh. Hmm. 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 Pub peanuts. Kind of on your honey roasted. These. Hmm. These are nice. Never just in a bowl, loose, because yeah, people go to the toilet and then stick their hands in them. In a bag. Very, very nice. That is. I like it superb, and it's got rid of the taste of the other nastiness. Oh, oh, I do like that. Next item is Wild West Beef Jerky. I think they sell that in the store I work in. So, um, that's a thing. Beef jerky. It's just jerked beef. That sounds weird. Let's see if we can... Why do they always make these bags, like, bulletproof to get into? Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, that was overpowering. It's, um, it's definitely beef jerky. I don't know if I like beef jerky or not. Kind of looks like flesh. <laughs> That's made it more appetising. Eh, it's a... Honestly, not really my kind of thing, but it's definitely beef jerky. Not the worst thing in the world. Kind of tasty. Yeah, that's, it's all right. It's not bad. It's not something I'd run out and eat. Beef silver side marinated, smoked and cooked. Beef jerky. It's jerked beef. It's okay. <sighs> Breaking into a sweat. Right, next. Oh, come on. <laughs> Mr. Trotter's Great British Pork Crackling. This is a box of pork crackling. If you like pork crackling, this is for you. Oh, why? Why? Just why? I love the design. The pig and the little... Uh, British waistcoat thing, but there we go. Smells like a bag of pork. Oh god. Here we go. That does not look appetizing at all. Okay, it's you and me scratching. Mmm, <laughs> tastes just like pig hooves or whatever. Oh, yummy. Next. Next, please be next. Oh. Mr. Filbert's dry roasted peanuts. These we can cope with peanuts. It's peanuts, unless you've got a peanut allergy, in which case don't go near them. Because that would be stupid. I used to know a girl had a peanut allergy. She came to work one day and at a Snickers bar because she didn't know I had peanuts in. That was disastrous. But there we go. I've just, it's not even, how did, even the rippy thing doesn't work. Where's the knife? Urgh. There we go. That'll do it. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're just, uh, hmm. Hmm. These and go with. Although, obviously, full of salt because the pub wants you to drink more. But, um, very, very nice. Hmm. The only thing I've liked so far is the peanuts. And everything else has attempted to kill me, which is lovely. What is this? More pig? Why are the pig things in a pub? Do you not save anything else but pig? Juniper and star and, and or something, air dried ham from British pork. Great. More pork, which I've just thrown over the table. Well, it smells like ham. I mean, what? Well, it's just, I don't know, maybe. Hmm, that's got a weird taste to it. I don't know what that is. That reminds me of something else. It's not the worst thing. It tastes better than the pork scratchings, but... Um... Why does it remind me of pepperami? I taste a bit like pepperami to me, which isn't a bad thing. Pepperami's quite nice to a degree, but... It's not really my thing. As I said, I don't eat pork, so this is... Oh, anything to do with pig, so this is not great for me. Yeah, I know. I don't even eat bacon. What is going on? You can see you all unsubscribing. He doesn't eat bacon. What is wrong with him? Uh... What is this? You know I said about pepper army? Well, here's some snacking salami, which is close enough. Outdoor bread, British pork. Well, let's, uh, let's taste this. Everyone knows what this stuff is. Yeah, looks like something from Red Dwarf. Yep, tastes exactly 
like pork with um with herbs. I mean, that not so bad. I can cope with that. If I eat pork, you might like it. Um, is there a reason there's only like dry pork and dry beef in packets and then peanuts? Is there anything else that they serve in bubs? Because this this is strange. But still, not bad. I can see why people would like this kind of food in the box. And the next item is. Oh, I'm getting a head rush. My stomach is doing backflips. Mr. Tubbs Pork Crackling. Smoky barbecue flavor. This is worse for me than doing any kind of weird jelly bean challenge. Oh, God. Oh, gotta smell it. Oh. Whew. Hi, welcome to the videos. This doesn't usually happen this badly. Wow. More pork crackling. What flavor is this one? Smoky barbecue flavor, which it won't taste anything like. Oh, that was nice. Oh, please never again. Um, it did have a slight barbecue flavor. Um, scratching a pork hind leg, buttock, whatever is in that. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. That was the pub supper box. Most of that, not for me. Love the peanuts, but way too much pork crackling in there. And the slammy was fine, but oh, I'll leave prices, links, discounts, all that down below. If you want one of these to try, oh, you're probably gonna like it. I'm not a fan of these snacky foods. Yeah. That was the pub summer box. You might like it. Wasn't quite for me. Um, <laughs> this is a strange video. Uh, usually it's, that was quite good. Today it's, that was not for me. I do not like pork crackling at all. We have learned that definitely today. I'm going to be yelling in a minute. Subscribe up there somewhere. Hit the like button. Keep it awesome. Be happy, be free, all that. <laughs>